what do you feel is the uh, the difference from uh, you know guarding Luca and, and all their weapons, as well as uh, you know just y'all dominating in the paint? Um, we just took them out of what they wanted to do. Uh, we make them uncomfortable all night. We knew Luca was going to be involved in a lot of actions. Uh, he has the ball in his hands a lot, but we didn't let him off the hook on the defense end of the floor. You know, we made sure we constantly picked them and kept him in a lot of actions to where they had to switch and he had to, you know, make rotations. And, you know, I think that really wore down on him a lot. And, uh, you know, every time he came off the floor, we didn't let him get comfortable. We didn't let him play freely. Um, and I think, you know, it just kind of frustrated him. Like. You noticed the progress that you guys have made defensively since Paul's return and just kind of getting more comfortable out there and familiar with each other? Uh, yeah, you know, I really just think it has a lot to do with just getting more comfortable with each other and uh, with just his presence being on the floor. Um, it's really tough to kind of strip things uh, and kind of, you know, tell guys where they're going to need to be when somebody comes back versus in him actually being out there on the floor and us actually having him there to make those rotations and for us to get those communication plays down. And, um, you know, I just think uh, he's just going to keep growing. We're going to keep growing as a team. And, uh, you know, just like Doc said um, all along, you know, it's just great to be able to still get wins while we're figuring it out. Six in a row, three guys trying to stay the last ten. Where have you seen the biggest areas of growth in that stretch? Um, everything, offensively, defensively, and uh, just our play in general. You know, we're playing the style of basketball that we want to um, on both ends of the floor. Um, we have a lot of different matchups out there that we throw at any given time. And, uh, you know, like I said, we're still just being able to grow, but being able to still win while we're doing that. And a quick turnaround tomorrow night in Memphis. How do you guys need to start that game? Uh, that game? Same as that way we started tonight, pretty much. Uh, going in with the mindset of we know what they like to do. Um, we want to take them out of those things, don't let them get comfortable. And, uh, you know, we know it's going to be a fight, but um, I think as long as we're one of those teams, or we are the team that is, uh, you know, the, applying all the pressure in the Begin the middle and end of the game, you know, we'll come out with another victory. You mentioned you guys continuing to grow as a team. We saw one of your rookies tonight, Terrence Mann. What have you seen from him this past season? Um, it's tough to kind of see from his aspect because he's still one of those guys that's growing. There's a lot of guards on this team, and you know, it's tough for him to kind of find his fit. But he comes in ready to work every day. He's one of those guys that's definitely going to be really good in this league, and uh, you know, he's one of those guys that's just going to. You know, find his way along with just being able to learn from a lot of different veteran guys in front of him, like PG, Kawhi, um, Lou, uh, and, uh, you know, Rodney as well.